Hi and welcome to My Gadget Life. We're talking about cubby board nowadays. Um, what it is is a miniature computer. If I can just pull out the wires here, show you. Processor, uh, Ethernet connector, and two USBs connectors. One of them is an interface where I'll put my keyboard and mouse and an HDMI. Apparently, uh, unlike the Raspberry Pi, it only has a HDMI connector. Um, you can either put it into a modern TV or in some cases you can get a HDMI to RCA converter and it will switch from PAL or NTSC Just adding that to the list okay so now I've got the uh, Android operating system as you can see I've installed XMB XBMC which is multimedia player and if I just click on to the other side I've got Skype uh, with this system I'm finding out that uh, installing Skype does work via um, downloading via Android except that I had to get um, a special Skype uh, mouse which will work for the microphone but won't work for the speakers. Instead I have this um, headphone jack in the board itself, the cubby board, and that would work as the listening part and the microphone with the um, mouse. See the Play Store which I downloaded the apps from um, Skype XBMC. Hopefully you can do that if you just register at the Play Store, get all in what you need. Hopefully uh, you can get some extra apps. I haven't bothered yet because it's fairly early days for me. I've just took the Essential Media Center and um, Communications applications. I could use other types. Really need to configure this and work out the kinks on this machine before I start uh, reviewing on it. But yep, if uh, you can see, I, I just downloaded a few things here and it works. So you can just download via the Play Store and uh, open it up because essentially Android is a tablet. I can also download a browser. Um, in this case, I've got uh, Google, YouTube. For some reason, I was trying to download here and found out it's fairly difficult to uh, play back YouTube videos on the browser. So while I was looking at that, I kind of like gave up and now. Um, I find uh, there's an uh, application separately through the App Store to actually do that. Anyway, um, the browser seems to work fairly well, it's quite responsive. If you have a keyboard in there, you can actually type in and use the cubby board as a, a browsing computer. Uh, you check your emails, so on and so forth, all the usual stuff state your current status via Facebook or any other social app. It works fairly well as a equivalent to a smartphone if you want to. Um, I actually recommend this as a 
cheap version of a smart TV. If you don't have a smart TV, you can just plug this in and it will give you the equivalent of, of video from the internet and browsing capabilities. Probably you have uh, extra channels and other things if you go search through the app store via um, via the app store you'll probably find out extra things like video satellite channels and um, so on and so forth but I haven't really bothered I've just uh, checked the basics and see if it can browse properly but um, hopefully um, passes the seal of approval and hopefully you might decide whether you want to purchase this or not. Anyway, this is My Gadget Life showing you the cubby board via Android and you're welcome to it.